So, hello sir, welcome to our booth. We're representatives from the Tuang Kumanawa Science School in Surumbang, and today we're going to show you how we can make your student life a whole lot easier <laughs> with this mode transformation in our SASA scientific calculator. Now, before we go any further, uh, do you know what transformation is? Uh, what transformation is, we're not talking about water box or deceptibons here, no. We're talking about mathematical transformation. So it is this, translation, reflection, all, all these questions which involve moving a coordinate from one point to another. All these questions that might have come up in your high school exam papers. Now, so you're probably asking yourself what the problem is here. Why are you standing here? Why are you listening to me? What's this janky thing on the table? We'll get to that. The problem here is transformation itself. Here, let me show you a typical transformation question. Find the coordinate of the image of point M, negative 2, 3, under the rotation of 90 degrees clockwise, about the center of 0 to 1. So, in traditional transformation methods, the first step that we have to take is we have to find the center. So, as we can see here, center is 0, which is 1, this is the x, this is the y coordinate. So, you find 0, find 1, and we mark it. Then we have to pay close attention to the question. This is 90 degrees clockwise. So we have to go to the right in the direction of the clock. So then we know the area is roughly here because it's 90 degrees, but we can't know for sure until we measure it using our ruler. So we take it here, measure the exact distance, so we can be sure that we have the exact coordinate after the transformation. So we get about 5.5 centimeters here. Then we go about 90 degrees here, making the ruler perpendicular. And we get this as a result. So the coordinates here would be 4, 1. Now as you can see, this method is very long, it's very complicated, and it's not very conducive to students. Also, in the current system, students have no way to check their answers, because the only way they can check is if they did this question all over again, which I already explained before takes a very long time. So this is obviously a very problem for students who can't do these information questions in the exams effectively. Teachers also have trouble teaching these questions because it takes a rather long time to come up with questions for this particular subtopic. So, how did we plan on fixing this problem? We fixed this problem with this, our transformation mode in our SASA scientific calculator, which is pure magic. Uh, let me show you. So we're going to put, input the exact same peripherals from this question into our calculator. Now, if you're wondering about this, this was our first prototype, which actually still works. The only problem is, the LCD on the prototype has fried. So, all the internals are good, it's just the display can't really display anything. So, unfortunately, we, it can't be used for purposes of our presentation. So we'd had to resort to this, our Proteus Death Suite. If you're wondering how we built it, we built it using formulas. We, come up, we came up with these formulas, we derived them from multiple instances of similar transformation questions. So what we did, we did multiple transformation questions just like this. Then we found the correlation between these questions. And then we came up with these formulas, which we then put into Excel so that they became programmable. And we put these programmable formulas, formulas into Arduino. And we use Arduino to make our Proteus test suite. So as you can see, the Proteus test suite is there. And we have the exact same answer from here. You just use it just by pressing buttons. It did not involve any rulers, it didn't involve any marking of the grid. We now have the exact same question and the exact same answer. So obviously the benefits of this are astronomical. Students are now going to feel more confident in their exams because now they have a reliable way to check their answers without having to do the question all over again. So now students are going to be, feel more confident when they come up with transformation questions. Teachers are also going to feel a lot easier to make their questions because now they have this calculator to do it for them. They don't have to do the questions themselves because in traditional transformation methods they have to do the questions themselves before they can make sure you can be put into the exams. Now, if you're wondering if we could bring this into examples, we can because we've already asked the LPM, we've already checked with them and they've approved of this calculator. This is the one and only non-programmable scientific calculator in the world which has this transformation mode. And we've also patented the source code for this, so this is 100% our product. So if anybody who wants to buy, we're interested. So in conclusion, we believe this transformation mode in our SASA scientific algorithm, if you plan on mass producing, using printed circuit boards, we plan on making it thinner, we plan on bringing it to the market in this form, not in this form, we're not bringing it to the market in this form, this form is really ugly, no. So, in conclusion, we believe that this is going to help millions of students, millions of people worldwide, with their transformation endeavors. Any questions?